Our state butterfly, zebra longwing, or zebra heliconian, is named for its striped wing pattern. This coloration is a warning to predators that the butterfly is toxic. Their toxic nature comes from chemicals called cyanogenic glycosides that taste bitter and, if ingested, are bad for one's health. The caterpillars are white with black spots and black spines and are conspicuous because they too signal to predators, don't eat me. As it grows, the caterpillar molts five times before it becomes a pupa. Right after molting, the spines are short, translucent, and soft, but soon they inflate and then keratinize or harden. Caterpillars pupate on or near host plants and the chrysalis looks like a dry leaf Unlike most other butterflies, male zebra longwings mate with a female before the female has a chance to emerge from its chrysalis. So even though the chrysalis is hard to find, male butterflies manage to do so. Once males find a chrysalis, they visit it repeatedly and perch on it. If a male senses through chemicals that the pupa is that of a female, it continues to return to it more and more frequently. Intruding males are fended off by an opening of the wings. Mating happens for several hours, and the female emerges to expand her wings. No other males mate with this female after it has been mated, because during mating, the male repellent is transferred from him to her. Zebra longwings are found from Peru and South America, and as far north as Texas and Florida. Butterflies may move from Mexico to Texas following changes in temperature. In North Florida, populations may freeze out during an unusually cold winter. In that case, the distribution of zebra longwings in the state may contract to just South Florida, and it takes several years for the species to repopulate the northern part of the state, including Gainesville. It is also easy to attract to your garden. Simply plant some passion vines and nectar plants, and swarms of these beautiful butterflies will populate your garden.